Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesday. This is so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, guess what? It's almost end of October, and here in California, we are getting to feel the season change, the colors change, and I know people in back east have already been feeling good with the fall and the trees and you know the colors changing to the yellow and orange and red and ah oh, it's my favorite favorite season uh, not because it is about the season it's because the holidays are coming and it's like another phase of transformation so welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. I am Lisa, and if you don't know me by now, by trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant, and the intention of coming live uh, for the past almost six years. Next month, I will be celebrating six years of coming live right here uh, on Facebook, and I've only missed five weeks. So. Today, I want to dive right in and talk about transformation, not only of seasons and colors and trees and the beauty of everything, but this idea that got inspired because of Halloween and the work that I do, everything is about transformation, right? So this idea of transforming and who we become during Halloween. So many of my friends love to dress up and go to parties and by Halloween, the whole world changes for them. And the difference between Halloween, comedy, transformation and who we are, where transformation really takes a center stage because from the moment you are invited to a party or know that Halloween is coming and if you have kids, you're going to go trick or treating and go out walking. It starts months before of the costume you're supposed to wear, the ordering of the costume, making the costume. And it's so much uh, about, I want you to think about it, the whole process. Um, of changing a persona, right? Um, changing this persona. Have you ever noticed how comedians and actors, they slip into this persona or personality, this character for the duration of when they're up on stage or they take this role for however long it is. It, it could be like a series and every single day they become their personality and while they're filming, they become this personality. And so many of us get to know actors by the name that they are portrayed on that TV show, right? Like so many people don't even know the real name of the characters, but they know the character name. And I mean, it's like Al Pacino, he was Godfather. Uh, so many knew of him as the Godfather until he played the movie that he was blind and that one scene when he's having that tango moment and you think of that. Tom Cruise, it's like, or with um, that scene, it says, show me the money or you had me at the first note of a first word or you know, so many of the things we remember, and it's not cliche, but we remember trigger words, personalities, and everything. Why? Because when that transformation happens, or a comedian that comes up on stage, and I'm not talking the ones that come up on stage, and they're not really, com they're funny, they're comedians in a, in a different world, in a different way, but they're not comedians like Charlie Chaplin that they take on that persona and that's who they become, but they're making fun of others. So there is funny and there is one that it's on, on stage and you like them 
because of what they say. But a true comedian, it's like changing the whole persona and personality. Now, why am I talking about this? I'm sure you're going to be questioning because for a brief moment, I want you to realize it's not only for a brief moment, but they practice and practice and practice and practice and they embedded that personality, the tonality, the looks, the gestures, and everything, um, like the Joker, and they become it. So they embody it just like going to a Halloween party when you dress up. You even sound like it, you act like it, you walk like it, right? So. You even take on the quirks and the persona. Now, what if I were to say, imagine a version of yourself that you want to change, a habit, a behavior that you want to change. And it's not necessarily because of what's happening outside, but what it is that you want within you. If you have a habit that you want to change a habit, if you have a per, uh, behavior that you no longer want, or you have a behavior that you have seen and you go, God, I wish I was more like, what if you start just for a few moments, take on that persona, turn it into a few hours and you step into it? If it is a, um, a luxurious way you want to be start going finding luxurious places just go visit you can go on any site any hotel any adventure even if it is for a few hours just be there so in a way what i'm saying is what if if you want to become confident and you want to become healthier, you look at a personality, a celebrity, a persona, and you say, if you ever wanted to have a body like that and be like that, and you start become it. You take on that costume and you start wearing becoming more confident, healthier, doing things that it's healthier, and start adjusting, become your own actor as if you hired yourself and step into it. Um, trying this new self, what I call it, and start the thought process, thinking like that, behaving like that. So. A part of what I am talking about is making a change starts with you. Don't expect the leaves turn and they fall and you say, great, but that has nothing to do with me. But if you start walking in there and you hear the leaves beneath your feet crunch and you go, that's just so wonderful. It's like, I am in a cold place, in a chalet, outside. So you take on that whole being. Because if you want to become a non-smoker, you can do so. You can do so for, you can start with saying, okay, for the next few hours, I'm not going to smoke. For the next few days, I choose to be a non-smoker and take this personality of a non-smoker. Take this personality that today I'm gonna go walking for three days and the three days becomes a week, a week becomes a month, and just as if you had hired yourself for a movie, production, a role that you are taking on. So one thought, one habit becomes one behavior. And when you repeat this behavior, as I say, when you do something over and over, over and over, and it's not about the affirmations, but stepping into it. 
this weekend I had the humble opportunity and the honor of presenting in front of a group of medical doctors um, and I am truly grateful for having the opportunity to step in and be a presenter at the Armenian Medical Associ uh, Society, which is a, a group that is highly regarded by the elite in the medical world and in the society of the best of the best who are there. So one of the things that I presented was EFT, which is the emotional freedom technique, which is being free of the pain, being free of uh, the habits and everything. And that was by tapping, and I know I've talked about tapping before, but it's really taking on and realizing that emotion, which is the feeling plus the motion, which is the doing, which is the acting, taking on that persona, you can actually, it can be amazing that you will see how the changes happen because every cell in your body starts incorporating that message, the thought, the feelings, and then soon saying, oh, I like this. It's different. I have to adjust to it. And maybe that's what pain is. It's saying, hey, you know, I don't know if I like this or pay attention to me. And until it gets to adjust it to that, per to that way of being. Here's the thing. You can choose to do that today. You can step into a any role, any personality, any habit, any behavior you want, and just for today. Do it just for today, just for now. That's it. You can um, really shift by stepping into it because the beginning the, the whole story starts with one sentence, right? You start typing with that one sentence. So close your eyes just for a moment. Nice deep breath. And as you breathe in, realize that every essence of the breath that comes in through your nostrils, that goes into the back of your throat and comes all the way down, when you swallow your saliva, you're bringing that oxygen vitality inside your body. You are saying every breath that comes into my body is one breath of living, breathing, being. My intention is for you to stop existing and living the way you want to. So, when I have a client right here, I say, what do you want? And when they start by, I don't want this. And I say, it's not what interests me, what you don't want, but what is it that you want? Because bottom line, you want to be happy. You want joy. You want inner peace. And you want harmony within you. And lastly, it's love and acceptance. It's the kindness, it's joy, it's peace, it's love that we want. And every habit that we have is we think either good or bad, peel away the labels. You want inner harmony, safety, peace, and love. So if that's a habit or a persona that you want, Find what suits you best and start today. So each and every breath that you breathe brings vitality and oxygen into your body and your body thanks you. As a matter of fact, this Saturday, I am having a workshop. I already have a few slots um, taken We've got five more spots open 
and it's listen to your body talk. So we lay down and we, I play this beautiful harmonious music in the background and you come to this place of inner harmony with your body, calmness, clarity, and tune in with yourself. And by the time you leave, you will realize that um, you build a, a stronger connection with yourself and you leave refreshed, relaxed, and more joyous. So let's begin this transformation. Make your Halloween costumes absolutely amazing. And imagine this persona or personality that you want to embody bigger than life. And let's start working together in stepping into it. A part of hypnosis and hypnotherapy is helping you transform to what it is that you want to be, to feel, and live with. I surround myself with all the things that I love. You know, I'm, I love scarves. I have so many scarves. My tulips, my favorite tulips. And uh, yes, every time I take the colors that I want, I love tulips. And uh, even the scarf. This is a scarf that uh, the words are by me. And uh, it was in uh, collaboration with a f very good friend of mine, Annette Abnus. Um, we did this together over 10 years ago, creating this beautiful silk chiffon scarf. And in here, I'm going to read what it says. It says, in the midst of darkness, find your inner light because you matter. And our eyes are not only to see, but to project what we witness you matter and it is this beautiful picture of this woman that is in the darkness and yet surrounded with all the light and everything and i did this because i work with not only my specialty is women's wellness and yet i see so many men who come to me with anxiety and stress and insomnia and wanting to stop smoking and everything but domestic abuse is one of the things that i also work with and this was created with that same intention that sometimes we don't see what's outside beyond until we get to see within we only see the things that we believe it's real but is it true so and then when i created this it was when i wear it if i see someone who is in the darkness and i want to see the light i used to take it and give it to them put it around their neck and say it's about time for you to see the light within you and believe in you we all matter as human beings we matter and as Wayne Dyer used to say we are not human beings having a temporary spiritual moment but we are this spiritual entities living in a humanly body. I think that speaks volumes of what transformation really is. So if this message resonated with you and you want to join our workshop, by all means, um, let me know, give me a message. I'm going to post right here about the workshop. Uh, it will be posted right under this talk, subscribe to my YouTube, and let me know if there is a topic you would like me to talk about, information, uh, inspiration. You can even join my daily gratitude group. It's a private group of uh, daily affirmations and inspirations, and I would love 
to be here to guide you transform for just today a week a month years to come until next week god bless you and may the universal light surround you always bye bye Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.